everyone! In today's video it's going to be my huge car boot sale haul. I have never got this amount of stuff in the car boot sale so it's got its own video because it needed it. my channel this video needed its own video this month normally I just put it in with my like monthly haul but I got so much stuff I normally only spend max 20 euro at the car boot sale this car boot sale I'd say I'd spent about 55 to 60 euro but I got so much and I'm so delighted it just needed its own video so I'm gonna share it all with you guys the car boot sale where I live is normally only on once a month so it's really hit and miss, most of the time it's rubbish. This month was really, really good for me, so I'm delighted and I just can't wait to show you everything. I have four bags of stuff, plus a box, plus some stuff on the table that I don't want to damage. Here's a quick overview of everything. So that's four bags, some stuff, and some stuff for Cahill. I'm tending to get into a habit of filming my videos on a wet hair. My hair isn't always wet, guys, just so you know. So starting with the first bag, Woo, who could this be? <laughs> so I'm going to tell you the cost of everything as well. Uh, this, was the, this wasn't the first item, but this is the first item I'm going to show you. I got this Build-A-Bear plush and I just thought it was really cute. I hope it's in focus for you guys. Um, it only cost two euro and I was like, Hells yeah. I don't collect Build-A-Bear stuff, the pants keep falling down, but I was even thinking I might switch it into one of my Disney bears. But yeah, that's that. The next item is this duck. It's a Beanie Baby. I'm going to have a Beanie Baby collection video coming soon. This duck doesn't have his tag on it. His name isn't on his tag, but he's from 1998. Quack. The next two items are from the same seller as this. So all the, all the teddies or plushies were two euro. So I got Minnie. She was the first one I spotted. It was in like a bin bag and her legs were up like this. So I said, hmm, this looks familiar. So this is Minnie. And I also got an Irish Mickey, like how cute is this? He doesn't have anything on his foot, but I don't know, let's see where he's from quickly. Oh. He's from the Disney parks also, you're not gonna see that, it's too small. Oh, you are. So, delighted to get them for two euro each. Disney stuff at my car boot sales are normally a no. Very rarely you get Disney stuff and when you do it's really like crappy like from claw machines and stuff so it's never official so I'm delighted to have got these two. The next item is another Mickey foam. This is the first purchase of the day and he is a bit dirty but I'm going to clean him. And he was two euro and he's from Disneyland Paris. Um, he doesn't have a stamp. They don't have stamps all the time. Uh, yeah, so that's them. I'll just stand up again. He's so cute. The last plushie I got was this guy from Princess and the Frog, and for some reason, I can't remember his name right now, so please let me know in the comments. He's not official Disney. But his gift prize not for resale, so he probably came with some in some claw machine. But he's cute, so. So moving on to bag number two. This bag is kind of a mixed bag. I kind of tried to categorize things before I took down this video. So it's quite heavy. Not the heaviest one. The heaviest one I can barely lift. So starting with the smaller bits, I got some figures that I'll insert a close-up of now. have to be my favorite troll he's definitely going on the Christmas tree 
And I love these two key rings as well. These were a euro each, which I thought was a little bit steep, but you don't ever see much of the 101 Dalmatians. Most of those figurines were given to me for free because I got other things off the seller. I also got these given to me for free. Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets PC game. I already have this on the Game Boy, so he just said take it, I don't want it. And Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire. And Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince. Next thing I got was this Greatest Hits. Um, this along with a few other items I got in a bundle off one seller for 20 euros. So if I it's in the bundle, I'll let you know. So this was in the bundle. Maybe I'll put them to one side to show you everything I got for 20 euros for the end. So let's put that there. The next thing I'm going to show you, this was two euro and it is a Disneyland Resort Paris money box of mini. I have one of these from of Fantasia Mickey, it's not matching or anything, but it looks really nice on my shelf in the kitchen. She needs a bit of a clean, so I'll be cleaning her after this video, but she's really cute and she was only two euro. Next item is from the 20 euro guy. 20 euro guy, his name is Dom, but anyways, and this is this Cars game. Sure, why not? It's Disney. We can try it out. I and mean, if it's rubbish, we can donate it back to the charity shop. It's only for a bit of fun. The last thing in this bag is one of the last things I found at the car boot sale. And that's when I went back. So I went in the morning with my friend. We went looking for Beanie Babies, but we only found one. But then later on, I went back with my mother and I found this. And this only cost one euro. Uh, we have all double beds in this house, but I have a blanket that goes over there. So when I'm, if I fall asleep on the couch, I can put it over me. So I am too close to the camera, but I'll insert a full shot of it now. But look, it's the Lion King. And this was only one euro. And it's not often you see these anymore in great condition. So I'm delighted with this. I'll show is mugs. I'm not allowed mugs. I'm on a mug ban. I definitely have way too many mugs but when you get them for so cheap it's hard not to. So for the first one I'm going to show you was this one and it was 150 and it's from the Disney store. I don't know what year it's from but look I love it. It's such nice colours and it's really pretty and it's such a good size so this is my hand. It's huge! I just keep stay standing up. The next one is from the same seller, and this one was one euro. And as you see this in GameStop and EMP and loads of other places. And I've always wanted one, and it's also a really decent size as well. So that was one euro. This one I've seen quite a lot uh, on different places. It says mischief managed on the inside, and it says I solemnly swear that I am up to no good. It's a heat changing mug that was also from the same seller and was one euro as well. She must have got like these mugs for Christmas or something and didn't want them anymore, and like they're they're not really even used. Next one from this that same seller. This was one euro also. Uh, is Hagrid. I've never seen this one before and it's really nice and I'm going to take it out of the box after this video. But yeah, that was also one euro. So I got three Harry Potter mugs off this girl. Hopefully I can show you them. Three. And this, all for 4.50. Delighted. But not helping my mug problem. The next two mugs are from the guy that I got the 20 euro stuff from, Dom, his name is Dom, I'll just start calling him Dom. So is this, I didn't really like this but he always does good deals with me so I just thought All Star Resort Sports Disney. It's for hot drinks I presume, really old school, it's cool, it's the same on the back. I also got this Harry Potter cup, it's plastic this one, I don't know why I shook it, you can't hear it. Sorry about the focus. I wouldn't use this anyways but it is cracked but it's just for display and taking nice pictures. The last in the mugs cups kind of section I got this off a different seller completely and this is the only thing I got off this seller. It's a Rainforest Cafe cup and it's kind of a bit worn but I just thought it was really nice and it lights up because I was there when I was in Disneyland Paris and I heard it was amazing, 
Wait, before I went, I thought it was good. Like the place looked amazing, but the service and the food was average. Let me know if you guys have been there. Maybe you have the same experience or maybe I just went on a bad day. And this was 150. The next thing is in this. Uh, it's also from the 20 euro guy. Dom. Um, I don't even know what these are. He just said, do you want them? I was like, cool. He said, there's loads of different characters and there is loads of different characters. Now Elsa's coming up prominent. Come on. Just let it focus. So there are loads of little things. There's loads of different characters. I don't know what they are. Maybe you guys know. Let me know if you do. This is like full. The next items are the second most expensive purchase of the day. Most things were two, one euro each. Um, this was 10 euro. It's a Nintendo DSi. It was 10 euro. And there was a game included in it, so she just charged 10 euro. It didn't have a charger, but it works perfect. Ooh, Inception. Ooh. <laughs> um, it works perfect. I have a DS, but this was just 10 euro, so I was like, yeah, I'll get that. It'll be fun to play or even sell. If I sold it to CEX, I'd get 27 euro credit or 19 cash. But I don't have one of these, so I may keep it as I like to collect consoles. I also got two other games from her. I got My Sims, which I didn't have. I don't really collect DS games anymore, but I'm, I love Sims. And I also got Mario Kart, which I already had, but it was two euro. So I got it, so I'll probably sell it. So the next two items are probably my favorite two items. I got so much stuff that I'm so happy with, but these are probably my favorite. Let me know what's your favorite when the video is finished. So this is gonna be framed. I'm gonna frame this or something. It's song selection from Make Music Mine. He said this is really old. The guy is from the 20 euro guy, so Dom. <laughs> um, he used to have loads of these. He's a seller, he does sell a lot. But he said he used to have loads of these and if he knew me a few years ago, he, def he would definitely would have given them all to me. It's really old. Um, it says Southern Music Publishing County, 8 Denmark, St. London, whatever that means. But it's from when the movie was released, he said. I haven't done my research on it yet, maybe you guys know. But he, it looks old and he has no reason to lie to me. The next item, so it's my favourite item and it's also from Dom. Oh my god. I am so happy with this vinyl. I have a very small Disney vinyl collection. I try and just get them in the car boot sale or the charity shop, but this is absolutely beautiful. I'm so happy with this. Like the artwork alone is just so beautiful. I know that it'd be great if the record worked. I haven't even checked if it works. I do have a record pair, but this is just so beautiful. It's gonna be framed and put up on the wall. Moving on to the third bag, this is relatively a light bag. I got this Minecraft Lego. I have a, a set of Minecraft Lego that my friend already gave to me for one of my birthdays. But it is a really big set of Lego and I paid five euro from it. And from what I can see, it hasn't even been taken out of the plastic wrap. <coughs> I just got this for fun. I'm gonna make it. Maybe I'll do a YouTube video of me making a time lapse or something. Let me know if that's something you'd like to see. The next two items are also from Dom. This is a Harry Potter chess piece um, from the D'Angostine magazine. When that came out, you collected one piece. Sorry about the focus. You collected one piece every week. And there was wizard, there was wands, and you used to hit them, and they make different noises when you lose, like real wizard's chess. I actually have the full set of these already upstairs, but one or two of these knights are broken, and this was part of the twenty euro deal that I got. I also got this Harry Potter jigsaw off Dom, and it's nice. It's only a hundred pieces, but it's Harry Potter, so woo. The next few items are some videos. I'm trying to collect the full set of Disney videos i'll link that video in the description of what i have already um i'm not sure if i have beauty and the beast and i wasn't sure if i had bugs life but i definitely didn't have toy story 2 and i definitely didn't have harry potter harry potter isn't disney but harry potter is an exception i had this exact video when i was little and i just said i'd get it again just for his cute face so that's them I'll show you quickly so toy story 2 beauty and the beast the main reason, if you haven't seen my video on my video VHS collection, the main reason I'm collecting them and I'm only willing to spend 20 cent to 50 cent or in extreme circumstances, a euro per video is I just love the artwork. It's so nice. 
Some of them are better than others. These ones aren't amazing artwork, but like some of my other ones are just beautiful. The next two items aren't as near Harry Potter, so sorry guys if you're not interested, but I got Final Fantasy 12 for two euro, and I also got Legacy of Kane Defiance for Cahill. Like I said before, I'm a bit of a collector of consoles and all ga things gaming, so I didn't have these two, so I picked these up. The last thing from that bag is this. It does say, it does say seven euro. It's an unofficial PlayStation 2 controller. I paid one euro for it. It's still in its plastic wrap inside. So why the hell not? We're on the last bag of stuff. This bag is so heavy that I'm just gonna put it down pretty quickly and start showing you. This guy, this game was also from Dom. It was 20 euro. The game wasn't 20 euro in the 20 euro lot. Um, it's German, but I paid hardly anything for it, so we'll give it a go and see if we can make sense of it. Uh, Kinder Kniffel. <laughs> I don't speak German, so sorry. Next few items are also from Dom, so I'm not going to say they're 20 euro because I feel like I've been repeating that a lot. Sorry if I have. So the next thing is a book. If Disney ran your hospital, nine and a half things you would do differently. So that's that. This book is so old school, I had to have it. It's Walt Disney, Uncle Remus. The next item is some sing-along books. I don't know, I'll probably give this to a child because it's a bit too babyish for me. Uh, this isn't from Dom, but it's an anime. It's number one, it was 50 cent. It's called Blackjack Osamu Tech. Volume one. I'm so sorry, I'm butchering words today, but I just said if it was only 50 cents. I'll give it a go, and if I like it, great. If I don't like it, I'll throw it back to the charity shop. So the next thing is it's also Fond Dom, the unofficial Harry Potter cookbook. I've had this in my Amazon wish list for ages, and it is in like perfect condition. You could nearly say it's new because it actually kind of smells nice. And the next thing is Harry Potter and the, yeah, it's German Harry Potter, but I like the cover and I also got this off Dom. These are also from Dom, he knows I collect these books. Okay, so this one isn't the one I collect, but this was in between it. It's a yearbook from 1990. I don't exactly collect these, but for some reason this is on the Wonderful World of Reading, so I had to have it. It'll go with these guys. These are new ones that, well, they're not new, they're old, very old. But he knows I collect them. I have about 50 or 60 of them. I have done a video on these already, the ones I have. If you'd like to see that, I'll link it in the description. So we got Snow White, Sorcerer's Apprentice. It is so difficult to read things backwards. All's well that ends well. It's like mirrored because I'm looking at it in the camera. The Jungle Book, that looks like gibberish backwards. Um, Simbad and, oh God. Sinbad the Pearl Diver. I have never seen that one ever. So that's cool. And the yearbook. And I'll just show you inside one of them quickly just to show you how nice they are. The lovely, beautiful illustrations. Oh, and this book smells so old. So that's that. These are from Dom as well. Um, I used to have this wand when I was little. It used to light up. And I think this is Harry Potter, but I'm not really sure. It could be Lord of the Rings or something. It's still lighting up. I'll have a look at it later and figure out what it is. The next thing is from Dom also. He gave this to me for free. It's just a colouring sticker book that I'm probably going to gift to one of my neighbours that has kids because I don't need it. <laughs> um, also from Dom to Empire, old Empire magazines. One from 2008 and the other from 2010. They're both Harry Potter ones, so lovely to have in the collection. And the last thing from Dom, I think, yes, it is, is this Frozen book. I don't really like Frozen as a film, but I do have a few of these, the movie collection books, so it's for the collection. So I've shown you everything from Dom now. I'll just insert a close-up of everything I got from him. So all of this cost 20 euro in total. I probably would have given him 20 euro for this or this. Such cool things to own.
So moving on, I got this for one euro. It's a bit faded, but this her I have hardly any Hercules merch, so I had to have it. My throat is getting a little bit sore for some reason, so sorry if I sound weird. And um, the next, the, all of this was two euro. One euro. It was one euro from a seller. So it's the Lion King, Ladybird book, and Pocahontas. I already have from ages ago a Hercules one, and they're so nice on the inside. Really beautiful illustrations. Like, love this. So that's why I got them. Just got cut off there. Um, I thought my camera died, but no. After 25 minutes, the it stops filming for some reason. Good to know. Had a little panic attack. I'll just show you these quickly. Just so nice illustrations. Well worth getting guys if you see them in the charity shops, definitely pick them up. So I almost forgot to show you these guys. This was the last purchase of the car boot sale. I was just about to go home and we spotted these. I was at my mom. I was there in the morning. I didn't see these at all. I paid 15 euro for the whole lot of these. They are, come on, focus. That's what they say on the bottom. If any, you know any information about them or is this the whole set, let me know. They're really nice. And they're kind of like porcelain, if that's the right word. So this is what I got for Cahill. I got him about 40 or 50 comics. Um, I paid 12 euro for the lot. The seller was looking for five for two euro or the whole lot for 50 and I had only 12 in my pocket. I said, would you take that? He's like, yeah, he just really wanted rid of them. Cahill seems to be quite happy. There's a lot of X-Men and Spider-Man and there's also some Warhammer. And the last thing, the last thing in this whole haul belonged to me, are these. These really cute little Disney books. So I got The Lion King. I got, well I got the front page of the Aristocats. Um, I got Pinocchio. And I also have Aladdin. And here is the other ones you can get in this series. They're from old tapes that you read along wish it and they're really nice so that's it for the haul guys i really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did please leave me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and comment what your favorite item was below put out new videos every sunday so check back to see do i have any new content thanks for watching bye